Hi, my name is Josh Oliver from Zenati Consulting. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create custom buttons on reports in Zoho Creator. By the end of this video, you'll have a more advanced understanding of buttons and be able to use them confidently in your Zoho Creator projects. If you like this video, please like and subscribe below. I hope you enjoy. And there are many reasons why you might want to put a button on a report. And there's many different use cases for triggering actions on buttons. First, I'm going to go through where you can add these buttons. And then next, I'll give you some use cases on what sort of functions you can trigger via a button. So the first thing to go through is where we can add buttons. We have a bunch of different places a button can be added on a report. If I'm looking at a report here, we have the quick view. And the quick view is basically a report where we can see rows of records. We can add a button as a column and we can add buttons on actions. So if I right click a record, if I click this three dots over here, or if I select all, these are all places we can add custom buttons. Additionally, we can add buttons to the detail view. And detail view is when you click on a record, this little pop-up opens. This is the detail view. We can add buttons within the sections of fields. So I could put a button up here or I could put a button up at the top right corner with these other action items. To add a button, we simply just need to go into the report editor. So I'm gonna edit this application, open this up in another tab. And like I was saying, we have two different views we can work on. We can work on the quick view or the detail view. And then within the quick view, we can add buttons to the layout or we can add buttons to actions. And same within the detail view. We can add buttons to the layout or actions. To create a button, I'm gonna first start on the quick view layout, uh, but you don't have to start here, you could start anywhere. And I'm gonna just go into the layout editor and I'm simply just gonna click add field. When I add a field, I scroll down to the bottom and it gives me the option to choose from a button I've already created or I can create a new one. And let's just say, because I'm working on a task application, I want this button to be called close task. Simply what it's going to do is update the status of the task to closed. But I only want this button to be enabled if the task is not already closed. I can do that using enable criteria. So enable this action item either always or on condition. So I'm going to set a condition here and say if status equals, or if status is not equal to closed. There we go. So this button will only be enabled if the status of that task is not closed. So if it's open or in progress, I'll be able to choose that button to close it. Additionally, I can create a confirmation message whenever that button is selected. So if I click after confirmation, I can update the message here. I can also include fields from the form to include as reference text on the confirmation message. Execute the closed task action for this record, or maybe just say, where do you like to close this task. Yes, please close. We can also update the text on the confirmation buttons as well. Go ahead and click done. And now we can name the workflow and create it. Whenever you create a workflow, you can add multiple actions. And when you add a new action, you can trigger a specific action block based on a condition or always. So maybe you have a certain uh, record type that should trigger a certain action or uh, vice versa, or you just want it to trigger always, and then maybe you want to code in the conditions within a Deleuze script. Either way, within the actions, you can trigger a notification, and that could be via email, SMS, or you could redirect to a specific URL, maybe a landing page of some kind. Additionally, you could create add update records in another form or even update the record that you're currently looking at using data access. There's an integrations action where you could update one of the few integration apps that are available. So I, I believe it's QuickBooks, Salesforce, Zoho CRM, and Zoho Recruit. And then additionally, you could just trigger a Deleuze script. Now, generally, I just do a Deleuze script because I like to code it. But if you don't want to code, you could use these pre-built ones as well. I'm going to go into Deluge and I'm just going to say, create my own script. But you could run a script that you've already created, maybe as a standalone function or a script that you've written somewhere else. But I'm going to go ahead and click create your own. 
And then in this, you can do whatever you want. So this is a deluge editor. I could write as complicated of a script as I want, or I could keep it as simple as I want. In this case, it's just gonna be one line. And I'm gonna say input.status equals closed. That is all I need inside of this function because I just wanna update the status to closed. But you can imagine making this more complicated. Maybe you wanted to include conditions in here, if else. You could do email blocks in here. You could trigger an API request to another application. There's a bunch you can do within Deluge, and I'm not gonna get into that, but you can imagine there's a lot you could trigger in a custom function. I'm gonna go ahead and click Update. I'm gonna exit out of that and then click Done. That brings me back to this window here, and then I just need to click Create. Now that that button is created, I can move that button around anywhere inside of this quick view layout. So this is just gonna be a column that appears on the report. I'm gonna go back into our report and you can see that button appears as a first column on this report and I can go ahead and click this button. If I click the button, that confirmation message sh shows up. So would you like to close this task? Yes, please close or no. If I click yes, please close, it's gonna close the task. So it updates the status to closed, and that button is no longer enabled because of the enablement criteria that I had set. I'm gonna go into the task here and reopen it. And now it's enabled. That's the first place you can add a button. Now again, I also mentioned you can add buttons to actions. So instead of it being just on the report as just a generic button, I could add that button or that function as an action item as well. So for a single record, right click of a record, or for multiple records. Whenever you choose multiple records, it will ask you to update the confirmation message because it's basically going to reference multiple records instead. And then you can go ahead and click done whenever you've confirmed that. I'm gonna move this up. And then now I'm gonna refresh my page and we'll see if I right click a record, I can close the task. If I click the three dots over here, I can close the task. If I select all, I can close all of the related tasks. And watch what happens when I close the task. So let me go ahead and close it in any of one of these methods. It's always gonna show that confirmation message. If I right click again, because those actions, they're set up a little bit differently, any actions that don't apply based on the enablement criteria, they actually just disappear. So you won't see it here. Same, you won't see it here as well. You will see it on the top here because it won't actually know if it's enabled on any one of the related records. Uh, but for the right click or for the single select, that button is removed. So that is creating the buttons on the quick view. We can also create tasks on the detail view. So let me go ahead and open this back up. A detail view is this view here. So if I wanted to add a button in a section, then I can come back into the editor, go into the detail view layout, and within this layout, I can add a field. And again, I'm just gonna pull in from one of the buttons that I have created, and I can bring that up to the top or reposition that anywhere inside of this section. Now, whenever I refresh and I click on this report, I can see that same button within the detail view. Additionally, I could add buttons as actions on this detail view. And so if I wanted to add that button here and then bring that up to the top, now whenever I select the record, that button shows up at the top of this page. There's a few reasons why you might want to throw the button inside of the detail layout versus the actions. Uh, maybe you have a bunch of different buttons and you want to see them all here listed. Maybe you have a specific section called buttons or action items where maybe you have a closed task action or an open task uh, and so on. You, you could create a bunch of different buttons and show them within this detail layout, or maybe you just wanna click more and see all of the buttons listed here. Now, whenever you have more than two buttons, only two buttons will actually show on the top and then you'll have to click more to see the others. So that might be one reason why you wanna list them all out. The last place you can add a button is on the quick view and if you go to actions, on click of a record, we can actually change, instead of viewing the record, instead of seeing the detail view, we can change that to either 
uh, editing the record, deleting, but also we can trigger that function that we had just written. So if I go back into this record, whenever I click on it, or when I go back into this report, when I click on this record, instead of it opening the detail view like we were just looking, it's actually just going to trigger that function. And then I can go ahead and click yes, close. And that function's been run, and that's pretty much it. So you can imagine maybe you have a uh, approval report uh, that's filtering out a certain status and you want to just click a bunch of records at once to close them out or to approve them or to send out emails and so on. There's a bunch of use cases for changing the on-click of a record. And in this case, I'm triggering just a simple function that's closing the task or just updating the status of that task. But again, you could do uh, much more complicated functions where maybe you click a, a record or you click a button and that's gonna open up a, a pop-up window or another form so that you can fill out information. There's so much you can do with custom buttons that I won't get into today, but they're just let your imagination go wild and know that you have a bunch of places where you can add those buttons to control the UI. So I hope that helps. I hope that gives you uh, the context you need to get started inside of reports and creating those custom buttons. I hope you found this video useful and I hope it got your mind thinking about the different possibilities for using custom buttons inside of your Zoho Creator projects. Now you should have all the information you need to build out these buttons yourself. If you have any questions or implementations you'd like to share, please put those in the comments below or head over to our community, Club Zanata, and post there. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.